You're Santa? Yeah. What does Santa say? Uh, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Can you say it again? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yay. Are you beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mama. Yeah, you're all right. You're all right. I know. It's all so new. Winter is a time of rest and reflection for us. When the kids were very young, I made sure to take as many pictures as I could. Not just of them, but of life. The kids as they grew, the garden, the animals, the food that we worked so hard to grow, prepare, and eat. These pictures helped us through the long months of winter after the holidays were long gone and cabin fever threatened to set in. Especially during difficult seasons, I have found it's helpful for me to look back and reflect They're pretty happy, aren't they so cute? We have five black ones and four yellow ones. Can't be really careful. We're having a little adventure. The ducks have outgrown their first brooder. They're like barely a week old. Be gentle then. Shh, don't scare them. Since it's such a beautiful day, we decided to let the kids get out of quarantine and we gave them this beautiful little cage so they can enjoy some sunshine. No, I'm just kidding. We're letting the ducks have their first day of sun. Look, they're so happy. They're a little freaked out because uh, Mr. Huck over here. Where do you go, kitty? Right there. He thinks they'll make a pretty good snack but we thought we'd take you guys along. Everybody say hi! Hi! <laughs> the kids are pretty happy to be playing with their ducks in the sunshine. <laughs> I don't know if the ducks are very happy. Hi, duckies! Aren't they getting so big? greenhouse tour. I just have a couple trays left that need to be planted outside. Basil, zinnia. I've got um, scarlet runner beans. I have a little flower. Um, several kinds of tomatoes. A couple melons underneath. We'll see if they do anything. And these are cucumbers. I have a couple volunteer sunflowers, but it looks like the beans are chalicing up that, so I guess that'll be fine. Uh, volunteer red auric. Um, today I tied up all of the cucumbers on baling twine, so that'll go up. I don't know how far it's going to go. Well, I guess we'll find out. Could go all the way to the roof. If we have to, we can make it do that. And then the peppers. That's probably the best pepper right there. But the rest of them are looking pretty decent. I have just a couple more left. Um, I don't know what's going on in this corner. We'll just keep an eye on it. But the basil looks good. I've been pinching it off. A couple more cucumbers. I think these are slicers. Um, and then I've already pulled out all of 
March's planting of lettuce in this bed. The kale, I'll probably pull soon, but um, I've got some purple beans, green beans there. Uh, oh, this pepper looks pretty good right here. And then, I'm not sure, I think this is a pansy. It seeded itself in this basil, so I left it. Um, and then we have some peas, which um, I don't see any peas on there today, but I just picked some a couple of days ago, so they're doing pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's early June, middle of June, so it's doing pretty good. What I usually find is that I've truly built the life I wanted. A life where my kids are free to grow, play, imagine, and wonder. A life full of goodness. A life that makes room for friends and family and where the line between the two becomes almost non-existent. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> ben just learned how to ride his bike. While I do not believe we should live in the past, it's wonderful to look back from time to time. It's what the memories inspire for your future life that is the most important thing to focus on. I have always been a planner. I often have a 10 year plan at the ready, not to be followed strictly, but meant to provide a trajectory for decisions made in the present. This life of mine was not built in a day or two, but by tiny, daily, deliberate choices. These intentional actions have snowballed into reality of today. I don't wait for life to happen to me. I've worked hard to build the life that I want, and I continue to work hard to build the life that I want in the future. While I have not chosen the easiest path, I have learned that hard things are often have the best rewards. golden hour in the garden. It's the best. Hey kitty.
absolutely beautiful this year, just like every other year. gonna go again? Oh, you're gonna go on the big one? <laughs> I encourage you to look forward and make a plan for the life that you want in the future. Look back and see all that you have done then make right now, this very second, your priority. Be present. Go after what you were made for. Let the fullness of who you are shine bright in this moment right now. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Are you so funny? You're, oh, she crashes. Uh oh. <laughs> in there.